Hi everyone, Cheryl here with a video for Cottage Cuts using the Sweetheart Flower Die. And these are the flowers that I've went ahead and made with um, coffee filters. And so what we're going to be doing today is using the Sweetheart Flower, flower Die and some coffee filters. What I do is I take the full coffee filter and just flatten it. And then like I have here, this is some that I haven't cut yet, is um, what I do is I use the big flower to create all the flowers you saw. And I just start laying, like this one you could lay, I just lay the coffee filters. There are five of them kind of stuck together. And I'll cut a piece to run through the machine. So I'll run it through and then pull them all apart. And what you'll end up with is flowers like this. And so um, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you'll want to do is get all your flowers and um, you'll also want to what happened? Oh, sorry you guys my laptop is not plugged in. Okay. I thought it was. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and pick out your color of glimmer mist you want to use. I find that this is the is an easy way to make these flowers with glimmer mist. And then if you're going to use these for a project, you'll definitely want to make them um, you know, well ahead of time because they do take some time to dry. So for the big flower like I have here, um, I went ahead and used about five filters, or five flowers, sorry. So just kind of stack them. There's two, three, four, and five. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can play around with this. You can use three, you can use two, four, five, as many as you want. Um, however, you know, whichever you like. So go ahead and just scrunch it around some kind of tool and then take another one. You could actually try to do them all at the same time. I'm finding that it's easier to do them separate only because when you go to bend these down it's going to be easier to bend them down or to roll them down however you want to do it. I think on one of my flowers I actually rolled and then the other one, let's see and then the other one I um, just folded folded them down and so now you can remove that. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is just pinch the bottom really good because this is what you want to have it to hold with the tape and then just put your tape on Oops. Hopefully that's going to stay. <gasps> nope. I don't know why that's happening like that. My other one stayed pretty well. This tape is really funny. I guess you could use whatever tape. Because really you're not going to see. When I do my card with these flowers, you're not going to see this tape. It's just to help hold this together. Okay. And then just snip that. And roll the wet, the rest of it. Okay, so now you're going to have your flower looking like this. And bear with me because I'm using a laptop to do my videos, and it's a little different for me. So next, I'm using Walnut Gold Glimmer Mist, and I'm just going to spritz this really well. And then you can kind of, as you're spritzing, pull down. Let's see if I can get this to come in. Sorry. Just pull down the petal as you um, mist. And that's going to make that pretty easy. And then you can just spritz inside. Hopefully you can see this. And see, this way makes it really easy to pull the petals down that you want. Now you could take your little tool and kind of roll if you want. I don't know how well that'll stay. Um, this d will take some time to dry. It's a wet coffee filter. So there you have a flower that I've made. 
and um, now I'll let it, I'll just set this aside so it dries. Now I'm going to show you how I did that small one because you'll want to be able to have some small ones next to it. So take about three more coffee filters. You could probably use three or four and you're just going to pinch them together like that. And this one's super easy to make. And so now you have the pinched bottom about like that. Okay, and hopefully my tape, now my hands are wet, so now this tape may not stick, but I'm going to do it anyway, so let's just see what if we can get this to work, and hopefully it does. Nope, my hands are, you can tell it's not wanting to stay. When your hands are wet, make sure when you're doing this that your hands are not um, wet like mine. <laughs> okay. So now you have this little flower, and you're gonna want to do. Oops, you're gonna want to do the same thing. Just spritz it really good, and see how it's already kind of like coming apart. It's opening up, and then just kind of shape this one. You know, you don't want to take it too much out because it, you're gonna pair it with another flower. Whoops. So you have um, one to come out the side. So I'll probably do another small one to put with that. And so I hope you enjoyed my video today on the um, coffee filter flowers using the Cottage Cut Sweetheart die. And thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time. Have a nice day.